Hello yarn friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this super easy bowl cozy. If you are new here, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, give this video a thumbs up, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know that you are new. If you are returning, go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of today's video. Um, let's go ahead and jump into the materials that we will be needing. But before we do, I do want to note that um, this should not probably go in the microwave. Um, it's mostly for bowls when they come out of the microwave or if you have heated up soup on the counter and you just want to put your bowl into something. So let's jump into today's materials. Materials for today's video is some cotton yarn. I'm using some I Love This Cotton from Hobby Lobby. We will need a four millimeter or a G crochet hook. A tapestry needle. Um, you may want to use a stitch marker. I don't think I'm going to. And then a pair of scissors. You will also want to know how to do the crab stitch. If you don't know how to do that, go ahead and click the link right above here and I will have a tutorial on how to do that. That's going to be our very last row that we do. Now, one more thing I do want to note. This is for the size of a standard soup bowl. So if you were to fold this in half, um, along the top here, it comes out to just about eight inches. Um, so just kind of a size reference point. I will be making more of these for shorter bowls, but if your bowl is a little bit shorter, just do less rows, but keep an eye out. I will be posting um, a ton more of these. Starting out, we will do a magic ring or a magic loop, magic circle. If you don't know how to do that, I do have a link above the video right here that you'll be able to click on and I demonstrate that. You can always start with like a chain three and join to the first. Now what we're going to do is we're going to be working half double crochets throughout this entire project until the last row. So to do a half double crochet, we're going to yarn over, insert our hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. So that's a half double crochet. So that counts as our first one. Now we're going to go ahead and we want a total of 12. So we're going to make 11 more. So there's two. So go ahead until you have 12 and meet me back here. Moving on to row two, we are going to join with a slip stitch to our very first stitch right here. So go ahead and count. Make sure you have 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Perfect. So we're going to go to the first stitch and join with a slip stitch. So we're going to pull through and pull through. Now we are always going to do that. Now if you would like to grab your stitch marker at this point and always put it in your slip stitch, which is going to be this one right here. That way you just know where it is. Um, that is not the start of our work. That's just our slip stitch. Now we're going to chain up one and we're working half double crochets and we want to increase into every single stitch. So into this very first stitch where we worked, we're going to place two half double crochets. So we yarn over, go into that stitch, pull up, yarn over, go through two, and then we will do that again. Okay, so now we have two into one stitch. Now into every single stitch around, we're placing two half double crochets into the same space for a total of 24 stitches. Go ahead and do that and then meet me back here for round three. Now normally you would do two stitches in the last right here. You can do that, but I like to do it a little bit differently when I was working my bowl. So my last increase, I'm actually gonna put where we have our stitch marker at for our slip stitch. And it just makes for a nicer seam. And then now we'll slip stitch to the top of our first half double crochet. Just like that. Okay. And now we will chain up one. At this point, go ahead and put this back in your stitch or in your slip stitch just so that we can keep track of that slip stitch so you guys don't get confused and later on down the road here. Oh no. Okay. So moving on this row, we are going to do one half double crochet back into the same stitch that we slip stitched and chained out of. And then into the following stitch is where we're going to place two half double crochets. And then that will be the repeat for this row. Uh, one half double crochet, 
and then in the following stitch two half double crochets so go ahead and do that for round three and then meet me back here moving on to round four we are going to do the same thing we are going to slip stitch into our first stitch here in chain one now at the end of row three or excuse me yeah at the end of row three you should have had a total of 36 stitches now at the end of row four we're going to have a total of 48 so chain up one we're going to do the same we're going to work one half double crochet into our stitch now remember if you'd like to just keep track of where your slip stitch is just make sure that you're putting your stitch marker in there so now for this row we are going to do one double <coughs> excuse me one half double crochet into the next stitch we will do one half double crochet and then into the following stitch we will place two half double crochets again one half double crochet one half double crochet and then into the following stitch we will place two half double crochets at the end of this round you will have a total of 48 stitches so go ahead and work this and meet me back here all right now round five is going to be our last increase row for a minute um so what we are going to do is we're going to place one half double crochet into the first stitch one half double crochet into the second stitch one half double crochet into the third stitch and then into the fourth stitch is where we will place two half double crochets into the same stitch so one two three and then into the fourth one place two so go ahead and do that at the end of round five you'll have a total of 60 half double crochets this is what it looks like when we have the bottom of our cover done so what we're going to start doing is we're going to be able to work up the side now so oops in order to do that what we want to do is work um with the slip stitch as well but we're not going to be increasing so we are going to slip stitch into the back loop only of our work so right here slip stitch and chain one now if you would still like to put your stitch marker in your slip stitch so that you know that we're not going to work in there now i was using it for my increases but we don't want to do that so we are going to work a half double crochet back into that same space and a half double crochet into the back loop of every single stitch so not through both but just the back and we are going to do that all the way around it's going to give us a total of 60 half double crochets so go ahead and do this row and i will meet you back for rounds seven at the end of the row here like i said we're not going to work into that slip stitch nor will we work in that slip stitch um until we increase but that won't be for another few rows so moving on to round seven we're going to slip stitch go ahead and move this again this is just if you want to just to make sure that you're not working into that stitch we're going to chain up one and then into both loops we are going to place a half double crochet and then into both loops for the rest of row seven eight and nine so the next three rows we are just simply going to put one half double crochet into every stitch through both loops um, so go ahead and continue to work the next three rows and i will meet you back here this is kind of what it's looking like so far now moving on to round 10 we are going to do the same thing we will slip stitch into our first stitch but this is going to be an increase row okay so we are going to slip stitch and chain up one now again when i do my increases i like to do oops goodness gracious i like to do one double crochet here and then one in the slip stitch where we don't typically work um so now for round 10 we're working nine half double crochets and then we're going to work an increase so right into the first stitch we will place a half double crochet so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine 
And now right here into our 10th stitch is where we're going to place two half double crochets. Okay, so that's going to be our repeat for round 10. We are going to do nine half double crochets and then into the 10th we will do two half double crochets. At the end of round 10 you will have a total of 66 half double crochets. To end round 10 will be the same as every other row. We will slip stitch, chain one, oops, and then we will move along. Now I do want to note that in this next rows, the next upcoming rows, we are not going to be working in that slip stitch at all. So for the next few rows, we are only going to have 66 half double crochets. So we are moving on to round 11. So 11 through 15, so 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, we're gonna be doing half double crochets into every stitch. So go ahead for the next five rows, um, or however tall you need for your bowl. I'm going to work five for my standard soup bowl right here. Um, so the reason we started off smaller and worked up is because soup bowls typically do that. Um, so if you need it to be a little less tall, you can definitely do one or two rows less, but then we will move on to the edging. So work your five rows and I'll see you back here. Okay, so here we are at the end and we are going to, we still have one more row, but now we are going to work a reversed single crochet. So we are going to slip stitch to our first stitch. Okay, so now we are going to chain up one. Now I'm going to try to go slow when I'm explaining this um, and hopefully it makes sense. So we're going to start working, instead of going this way, we're going to start working back along these stitches, but we're not going to turn our work. So I'm going to show you this a few times, you guys, okay? Now we're not going to go directly into this stitch here because this is going to be our slip stitch, okay? So into the next stitch, what we're going to do and how I like to do this is I kind of like to hold my working um, loop with my finger and really hold this here. So we're going to go um, backwards to this um, stitch right here and what we're going to do is we're going to go in okay and the best way that i found to explain this so that the stitch comes out right is you want to make sure that your hook is on the back side and your working yarn is in front of you and you want to pull it through that way okay so don't try to wrap it around this way or anything funky like that keep your stitch or your hook on the back of it and pull your yarn through okay so now we have two loops on our hook, okay? And then we'll yarn over and go through both loops. So that's gonna be a reverse single crochet or the crab stitch. So I'm gonna show you again. So we're gonna go into our stitch. So again, we're not going forward, we're going backwards. We're gonna go into this stitch behind us. And again, I like to hold it like this. And we're gonna go into that stitch and push our hook through, okay? Now remember, we want to keep this on our hook, so make sure that when you're pulling, you're working yarn through, you're not pulling it through the stitch on your hook, okay? So now we have our hook behind our yarn. We're going to grab it and pull it in, okay? But do not pull it through the loop that's already on your hook, so we want to have two loops on our hook. And we're going to yarn over and go through both loops. So we're going to do this all the way around and let me grab my work here, the other one that I did. And it's gonna come out looking like this, okay? So this is also gonna make it so that it hugs your bowl so that it doesn't fall off. So I'll show you that again. We're gonna go, let me get a little closer. We're gonna go into the stitch. Remember, I like to hold this. I kind of pull the yarn up a little bit. We're gonna go into the stitch and make sure that our hook is on the back and our yarn is in front and we pull it through that way, okay? We're gonna pull that into our stitch. Now we have two loops. We're gonna yarn over and pull through two. So we are gonna continue to do that all the way along our cozy. And then meet me back at the end and I will show you how and where we are going to um, finish off this work. I hope that made sense. I hope I went slow enough. And as you can see, we're kind of getting that little loop-de-loop -loop around the edge. So go ahead and continue to work this way 
around your work and I will see you to finish this off. When I reached back at the beginning, um, as you can see, here is where we started. I'm just going to turn the work at this point and then go in through the stitch right here and join with a slip stitch. And then I like to do two chains just because it makes it extra tight um, of a knot. Go ahead and snip that, pinch and pull, and then that double knots it up. And then there we go. All you have to do at this point is sew in your ends, but let's see here. There you go. It went sideways on me. And I like to stretch it out. It's a little tight at first, but we want that. We don't want it to fall off. Um, with these, it's fun because the colors are always different. It's a self-striping yarn. Oh, dropped the pull there. Um, let's actually just take that so I don't wait. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial for this super easy bowl cozy. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channels and give this video or hit the notification bell so that you get notified when I do release new videos. Um, I hope to see you guys all next time for another yarn tutorial or crochet tutorial here on Dream 9 Designs Yarn Corner of YouTube. Bye friends.